Welcome to this episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm Tom C. with Christian Bisco. On this episode, we're going to take you to the heartland of America, a place in Farmington, Iowa. It's called the River Valley Horse Camp. It's a great place to visit. We're going to show you everything there is to do here, and there are a lot of things to do. Yes, yeah, Steve and Carolyn Cokejohn own this facility. A beautiful campground with covered stalls. There's outdoor arenas, there's covered arenas, there's beautiful cabins that are uniquely decorated, not to mention all the fantastic trails to ride. They also even have a, a horse breeding program and a herd of longhorns. Bill Shields will be with us on this show. We're going to show you the entire facility, how you can come and join us. Stay tuned. You're watching Best of America by Horseback. We'll be right back. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, Tom and Kristen are in Farmington, Iowa, riding with viewers at the River Valley Horse Camp and Lodge. This beautiful property lies right beside the Des Moines River and has miles of horse trails through wooded rolling hills and open land. They have rental cabins, shaded campsites with water and electric hookups, covered stalls, indoor and outdoor arenas with scheduled events almost every weekend in the summer, and miles and miles of trail riding. Putting a horse camp on this property was a longtime dream of Steve and Carolyn Cokejohn, who spent 40 years taking tours trail riding in the backcountry of Estes Park, Colorado. Today, River Valley Horse Camp and Lodge is a thriving and ever-expanding family-oriented horse camp with a western flair. Steve is the visionary who first thought of putting a horse camp here, and Carolyn is the friendly face who greets guests and makes them feel like part of the family. That's her demeanor. She makes them feel very, very special and welcome, and, and as I said, go, she goes out of her way it's very authentic. She does everything in a very authentic way. She's just truly, she truly cares. And she wants everyone to have this experience that she loved because that was our, our experience as a family was horse camping for a vacation from our livery stable. She is the heart and soul of the operation and he is definitely the dreamer and the schemer. Steve and Carolyn built everything from scratch on the property after spending years just cleaning it up to create 50 shaded campsites with hookups and easy access by today's large horse trailers. They work together to provide a safe, fun place for families to enjoy. You and Carolyn have built this business from zero up. When we recommend a place for people to come ride, it's more than the trails or the facilities, the locations. It's the people behind the operation. And you guys work like a hand in a glove. You making sure everything is working well and she's got open arms out in the front office welcoming everybody in. Um, you make it look so easy, but it's been a tough road to build, hasn't it? Oh yes, definitely. But we've got a lot of good people that work for us and help us. I mean, just like John, you know, run you guys around. I mean. He, he's come, we met him through here, I mean this place. We've met a lot of people, a lot of good people that come to this campground. And they keep coming back. Correct, yes. And they we're, become we're all about that, return customers. They come back as a family. Yes. And they this fall is, in love, get married And this is here. a family place. You can bring your kids here, everybody here, and we keep everything under control. And I mean, it's a safe place to come. It's a place you can leave your children or grandchildren and go to town and not worry about what's going to happen to them yep. when they're here. Def most definitely. Is it safe to say that everybody that comes here probably is going to leave his family with you? It's totally that way in this business. It's, to it's crazy, crazy how everything connects. And, and the longer we're in it, the more we see. We love the dude horse business, but we love this business even more because the people that come here are horse people. And it's such a diverse industry. There's so many things that people do with their horses, different types of horses, and you just see them all. 
I want these kids to get outside. You, I've, you know, everybody says it that lives outside. And these kids that are growing up with their face and their phone, you know, heaven help us. You know, they've got to get outside and be social and ride a horse and get dirty and go fishing and go. We got a little beach across the river. They can go swimming if it's hot, you know. When you think of Iowa, you think of flat land and cornfields. But the trails here at River Valley Horse Camp are anything but flat and boring. They have fun trails through valleys and hollers that anyone can ride. There are small stream crossings and scenic rock outcroppings along the rolling hills and wooded trails. Steve and Carolyn's daughter Joey grew up riding these trails and led our ride of over 115 guests. We wove up through a beautiful hay field and skirted them through a canopy of oak trees, uh, hardwood trees, maple, um, walnut trees, and then along a wheat field and uh, skirted up to a high point of the pasture where you could overlook the Des Moines River Valley here, which is where we sit. So lots of hills um, and lots of hardwood trees dotted with cedars and beautiful moss and ferns below and some rock outcroppings. Um, but anybody so, could ride those trails. They're adventurous, yeah. but anybody could ride them. Well, my eight-year-old rode them on a 22-year-old horse, so I would have to say yes, and this is not his first time out. I think the trails are fun. They're certainly not boring. There's a little excitement, but um, it's good footing, and we'd had a lot of rain here, and it was still real good footing, and uh, an abundance of scenery. Uh, when Paul and I went out and scouted the trail, we actually saw a doe and a fawn crossing the creek. There is a lot of a lot of hills and hollers, a lot, and more so than what people think. But if you don't like that kind of riding, then you know you can ride along the river. You can ride to town. You ride to the restaurant and tie up and have a piece of homemade pie, or ride to Helmart and visit Helmart and tie up to their their hitch and rail has a video camera on it, so <laughs> you can go inside and watch your horse. So <laughs> that's it's, awesome. Um, the small town is another big asset to people that come here from the bigger cities because they don't have anywhere like that to ride. They can't ride in town, and their horses maybe don't, you know, they love exposing that to their horses. And so just riding along the river and making a loop up through some of the scenic drives in the forest, and that's a great thing to do after a rain, because the dirt trails will be wet, I, you know, they're dirt, so, um, but there's uh, a lot of, and it soaks up fast, because we're pretty sandy, but we're not rocky. So there are people that, um, you know, some people can get along without shoes even. It depends on the horse. Many of the private trails at River Valley Horse Camp are wide enough to ride side by side. And most are in the woods and well shaded. The rolling hills are fun and not too steep, even for beginner riders and children. One of the things we do is to make sure that the trail we film on and do the show on the location is a trail anyone can ride, any level, any experienced horse can do the ride. And the trails here were perfect. You could ride side by side. Uh, there were challenges on the trail, but nothing dangerous at all. It was a great, great ride. How was it from your perspective? It was a beautiful ride. We went through, we passed by hay fields, uh, lots of wooded, trails to go on, passing through little creeks. Um, there was even some rock croppings out there. It was just really, really gorgeous. And it was nice to have the trails wide enough where people can ride up next to each other or if somebody wanted to pass somebody else. There was plenty of space, safe room to do it in. Um, and even some of the trails had little um, side options, if you will. So they could cut up on the side and, and take more of a, a challenge if they wanted to. And, cut back in line. Riders even enjoy riding through the campground, past all the different ponds and remote primitive camping areas. We didn't film the state park trails, but guests staying at the River Valley Horse Camp have access to an additional 40 miles of established trails in the Chemek State Forest, directly from River Valley's property. We always like to kick off every Best of America by Horseback ride with a grand opening, which includes the singing of the National Anthem 
and a blessing of the ride. As part of the grand opening ceremony, Carolyn introduced everyone to some of their SK horses, horses that were born here as part of their breeding program. As you can see, many of the riders on this ride own SK horses. They brought them as foals and trained them the way they wanted them trained for activities they like to do. Steve and Carolyn take pride in their horses that are foundation bred, ranch raised, working, big bone quarter horses with good withers, good feet, and sound minds. They are Blue Valentine and Leo bloodlines, and they have around 80 broodmares producing foals each year. When Best of America by Horseback returns, we will show you some of this year's foals and learn more about the breeding program here at River Valley Horse Camp and Lodge in Farmington, Iowa. Best of America by Horseback is visiting River Valley Horse Camp and Lodge in Farmington, Iowa. Owners Steve and Carolyn Coke John are passionate about horses and they've been breeding their own horses for over 40 years to get the kind of horse they needed for their livery business in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, but also for people who want reliable foundation bred horses they can trust. The other love in your life besides your family is your horses. Tell me about your horses. Why are they different than any other breed of horses? Well, we got into the quarter horse business, like I said, before we were married and we had a sugar bar leal stud, and at that time that was a popular bloodline, and um, this was in the early, very early 70s. Um, and then when we got into the livery business in Colorado, we were looking for a horse with bigger bone and more solid foot, and that's where we got into the Blue Valentine horses. And it's a misconception that everybody around in this part of the country thought, you know, the Hancocks are a little bit on the bronchi side, but they're not, they're, they're puppy dogs. And you guys could see it when we looked at all the colts and the colts are, you don't wanna be friendly. And the mares, I mean, they're just big, friendly, stout, usable horses. And that's kind of where we went with them. And the disposition is our number one thing. You can, it, it takes preference over confirmation and everything. Because if you've got a good horse, good disposition that likes people and likes to do what you wanna do, then you've got a horse that'll be your buddy for the whole time you have the horse. And we were out west every summer, so we were able to make these connections with these western bloodlines. And we had a, a several different outcross stallions that we brought in from different parts of the west. Um, we had a horse from Nebraska that was a, a baby. We always buy babies because that way we can raise them like we want them. Um, horses that were raised in stalls don't work real well for us. You know, they've got to be able to go outside and survive and, and get along and sustain themselves and maintain themselves on a, a grass pasture and, and big round bales in the wintertime. And it works really, really well for us. And we got involved in these, uh, we discovered the Blue Valentine line in Laramie, Laramie Wyoming, and really, really fell in love with the, the size and the bone of those horses and the history of the horses that go with those families. And that's what we ended up bringing home. And at one time, several years ago, we had five sons of Leo Hancock Hayes, who was the last siring son of Blue Valentine in the country. And um, so we have, we we're, we're still are creating colts with Blue Valentine on their papers. And that's, that's not seen just every day. They host an annual colt starting competition every year, the weekend after Memorial Day weekend, featuring clinicians working with their SK You can imagine what these trainers could do for 30 days on a horse and look what they've done in less than about four hours of riding. Best of America by Horseback is at River Valley Horse Camp and Lodge in Farmington, Iowa. Owners Steve and Carol and Coke John have built a beautiful campground and lodge to provide guests a place to come and experience the outdoors with a western flair. Besides camping and trail riding, they have different events going on in their arenas on most weekends. 
While we were there, they hosted a ranch rodeo with kids to adults participating in calf roping, barrels, and other rodeo classes. Campers at the River Valley Horse Camp are welcome to participate in these events, or you can just enjoy being a spectator. A full list of their events can be found on their website, rivervalleyhorsecamp.com, under the Special Events tab. Steve and Carolyn love to see riders improve their relationships with their horses, so they often host national and regional clinicians at River Valley Horse Camp. During our visit, Jesse Monk gave a horsemanship clinic on Friday afternoon with his kids helping him out. And on Saturday, Matt Fritz held a horsemanship clinic in their new indoor arena. Both arenas are at the far end of the property, so the events do not interfere with campers who just want to relax and enjoy camping and trail riding. For guests who don't want to camp, River Valley Horse Camp has a number of very unique rental cabin options, and no two are alike. They range from a historic one-room schoolhouse, a corn crib turned into a two-story accommodation, all the way to Injun Joe's, a small floating cabin on a well-stocked pond. You can see their full line of cabin options on their website. But the most talked about buildings are the bathrooms and bath houses. The men's are decorated with honey motifs, and the women's bathrooms and shower house are uniquely decorated and they have relaxing music playing 24 hours a day. During the Best of America by Horseback Ride at River Valley Horse Camp, there was a variety of vendors on site selling everything from jewelry and clothing to tack and custom leather accessories. All of the social gatherings, meals, and entertainment were held in the lodge. This uniquely decorated building can be rented for weddings and other special events. Tom and the Best of America by Horseback staff spend time with the riders in the lodge during our meet and greet on Friday night, where Tom kept guests entertained, and Dell performed his western songs, often with audience participation. There were speakers from the neighboring state park, and Tom Allen talked about the villages of Van Buren the neighboring small towns where you won't find a single fast food restaurant or even a stoplight in the entire county. The band, Country Unlimited, played on the outdoor covered patio where guests could dance or sit by the bonfire and enjoy a variety of familiar tunes. On Sunday morning, Pastor Rob Radosovich gave the sermon and Tom Allen provided the music. River Valley Horse Camp in Farmington, Iowa is a beautiful riding location that offers something for everyone. But it's Steve and Carolyn Coke John's passion and love of horses and horse people that impacts almost everyone who meets them. What they have done as a couple in no matter what business they've run is create a community and create a sense of connectivity for people multiple romances and marriages um, have come out of of their businesses which they focus on creating this community for people and it, that's how no matter just pick one that they've done whether it be the you know the horse breeding program or the livery stable in Estes Park we used to run kids horses for camps and we would just meet people and um, as you know the horse world is quite small when it comes right down to it and this campground is sort of the culmination of everything because it truly is a home away from home for people. This is a nice place to go. This is a family place to go. This is a place Best of America recommends. It doesn't get much better than this. For more information on visiting River Valley Horse Camp and Lodge in Farmington, Iowa, you can call them at 319-878-3888 or log on to their website, rivervalleyhorsecamp.com.